my story time. Are you ready for another story? Put on your glasses, Grandma. Get your story bag, Grandma. Here it is. Oops. It's my bag with purple circles, golden elephants, blue circles, golden elephants, and red circles. Are you going to come out, Peter? You're happy again? You are? Yes, it's still National Science Week. Today is Friday. The last day of the week. Or the last day of school week. Have you got another book for us today? What have you got today? Oh! Mr. Archimedes Bath by Pamela Allen oh. Mr. Archimedes is going to have a bath, is that right? Okay, can I read the story now? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a look at the front of that. It's a very big round bath. There's the taps over at the side. Mr. Archimedes is resting his head on the edge. I can see his knees and his toes. There's a very long tail there. And claws and legs. Let's see who's there. And I can see lots of water falling out the side. I think you've got too much water, Mr. Archimedes. Inside the book, it still says Mr. Archimedes Bath by Pamela Allen. <laughs> he's got no clothes on. He's getting in the bath and then he's getting out of the bath. Mr. Archimedes Bath always overflowed. Look, the taps are turned off and the water's coming all out the edges. Mr. Archimedes always had to clean up the mess. Can anyone tell me where all this water came from? And there's his friends, a goat, a kangaroo and a wombat. Mr Archimedes decided to find out. He put just a little bit of water in the bath, as he always did. And this time he measured the depth. The depth is how deep it is. So he's got his tape measure and he's measuring. He's even putting the measuring stick to the bottom of the bath and then he's got a red pen to draw a line on so he knows how much water he put in the bath. But when Mr Archimedes, the goat, the kangaroo and the wombat got in, the water rose. Look, it's spilling again. Where did all this water come from? bellowed Mr Archimedes. I don't know, said Kangaroo. Uh, it's not my fault, said Goat. I didn't do it, said Wombat. It's making a mess on the floor again every time they have a bath. But when Mr Archimedes measured it again, he found the water had gone down. It was up to the red line and now there's less water. Somebody must be doing this, he shouted. Where is it gone? Maybe it's you, kangaroo. You stay out and we'll see if it happens again. So Wombat, Goat and Mr Archimedes got in and the water rose. When Mr. Archimedes measured it, he found it had gone down again. Now let's see what happens when you are left out, goat. So this time the goat had to wait. And the kangaroo, the wombat and Mr. Archimedes got in. Again the water rose. 
that only left Wombat to blame. Mr Archimedes was angry. Get out and stay out, he shouted. But the same thing happened. Who could be responsible if it wasn't Kangaroo and it wasn't Goat and it wasn't Wombat? Could it be Mr Archimedes? The friends decided he should have his bath all to himself. So he climbed in and the water rose. He climbed out and the water fell until it was just about the same that Mr Archimedes had put in. Mr Archimedes got so excited that he jumped in and out and in and out to make the water to go up and down. When he goes in, the water goes up. When he gets out, the water goes down. Eureka! I found it! I found it! He shouted, jump in everyone! And the bath overflowed. See? said Mr Archimedes. We make the water go up. There are just too many of us in the bath. That's all. The friends had so much fun that night, jumping in and out and making the water go up and down, <laughs> that they made more mess than ever before. That's a great science experiment, don't you think? Can you make the water go down and up when you get out or in of the bath? If you don't, maybe you could get a tub of water and then you could put different things in to see the level. But always have a measuring stick so you can see. There's a special scientific name for it. It's called water displacement. And if you want to know more about it, you have to experiment, because that's what scientists do. Experiment. That's all from my story today. See you again. Bye-bye.